it's time to upgrade your AI agent with real-time web access. Using a Perplexity MCP server, your agent can pull accurate, trustworthy answers, which are especially crucial in fast-changing and highly regulated industries. Let me show you how to set this up. And hit subscribe for more videos like this. There's more great MCP tools to cover. Now, time to jump in. Welcome back to, yes, you guessed it, the VoiceFlow canvas. We're starting from scratch. We're gonna start with a new AI agent because that is where the MCP tool lives. Now, I've got a few sample instructions ready to go, but this is super straightforward. The role and personality is just a generic AI assistant. And at the bottom, I've outlined how the agent should use the Perplexity MCP tool to get answers from the web that they otherwise would not be able to. So let's go and connect to Perplexity. Here we are on Perplexity. If you don't already have an account, you can go and make one. I will click on my account settings and go to API. Here in the dropdown, you'll need to choose an API group. Because I've already been playing around with this, I have one, but I'll set a new one up for the demo. So new API group. We're going to find out if this works with completely bogus information. All right, there you go. Now you'll notice that Perplexity is asking you to add a payment method to buy API credits. This is what's going on. To be able to use Perplexity through MCP, you need to buy credits in advance. You'll notice if I go down to API keys, you actually can't create an API key without credits. The good news is you do not need that many credits to get started. With $5 up front, I've been able to test this a lot. And later in this video, I'm gonna point you towards some settings that will reduce the amount of credits that each Perplexity call consumes. So I've switched over to my existing API group, but you'll see the same thing. Go to API keys. You'll click this bright blue button, give your key a name and create. Now you'll just copy this key. Now, this was how to get a working Perplexity account. But to make use of MCP here, we need to get the server that's between VoiceFlow and Perplexity. You have a couple of options. If you're feeling confident, you can self-host Perplexity's own MCP server, which you can find at this URL. Or for a quick setup, you can use something like Zapier MCP. I'm gonna use this method because it's a quick setup and it's an easy way to start. For a quick refresher on Zapier MCP, check out this video right here. I'm just gonna make a new server, client other, name Perplexity create. From the tools, I'm going to add perplexity. And they just have one tool. Quickly to connect, copy server URL. And before we jump back to VoiceFlow, let's talk about configuring this tool to minimize cost. Within the settings, you'll notice you have a choice of model. Now, perplexity gives you access to multiple different models. These options include everything from sonar to sonar deep research. These models have different levels of capabilities, but they also have different levels of cost. I'd recommend reviewing Perplexity's documentation to have the best understanding of which model would be best for you. But for our testing purposes, I'm just gonna choose Sonar. We're gonna AI generate the user message. And here you'll notice max tokens. This is another way that you can control the credits consumed by each tool call. For now, we'll just set as the default. Now save this and you're ready to connect to VoiceFlow. Back in VoiceFlow, I'm going to MCP, create MCP tool, call this Perplexity, and paste in the server URL from Zapier. I'm gonna add that MCP server. And you'll notice our one tool that we added is right here. You'll also notice the parameters that we set. We're using the model Sonar and our max tokens is 2056. I'm actually going to leave everything else as default. A huge benefit of Perplexity is real-time web access. You'll notice that, for example, if I go and connect a default AI agent and I give it the same instructions minus the tool call, it won't be able to access the web. I'll prove it. What is the weather? This isn't the most interesting example, but it is web dependent. And you'll notice that by default, this doesn't work. So let's delete this and put our Perplexity agent up to the test. Okay. What is the weather in Toronto today? You can tell it's calling the tool because it's waiting for a second. And we can confirm that we now have real-time web access. And this is true. I walked here today and it really is this nice outside. I'm actually excited about my walk back. Now, this was just a quick example, but let's talk about real use cases. The way I see it, web access is useful in two ways. The first is if the user wants to access real-time accurate information related to your business. And the second is as an internal tool for your agent to embellish their own answers. You can imagine in a more advanced flow that the perplexity tool would sit between other tools. But these further use cases are for you to explore. I hope this gives you inspiration for how to best take advantage of MCP. For more MCP tools, hit the channel notifications. We got more coming very soon. In the meantime, feel free to join the VoiceFlow community in the Discord linked below. And if you're still here, thanks for sticking around to the very end.